It is the beginning of an end to Wike's political career in River State when one begins to see the current changes in the political structure of the PDP in River State, one would categorically say that the FCT minister would become irrelevant in a matter of months. Wike, who is the former governor and supposed godfather of Rivers, is being challenged by his adopted godson, Siminalai Fubara, the current governor of the state. It has been a cold and bitter battle amongst the two. Wiki is alleging that Fubara wants to destroy his political structure in the state, whilst Fubara says that he can't be an executive governor and become a puppet in the hands of a singular person against the will of the people in the state. There is news that is flying saying Wiki is making huge demands on the finances of the river's people and the state, which is in the tune of billions of naira every month. And it is said that Fubara refused but only offered a little percentage of that money. If you are following the trend, it was alleged that Wiki tried to impeach the governor through his loyalists in the state with the House of Assembly members that were loyal to him. It led to a dramatic scene where the governor was shot at whilst trying to gain entrance into the venue of the impeachment. To cut the long story short, the event led to a bigger battle between Wiki and Fubara beginning with protests sponsored by the governor against Wiki and the sack of most of Wiki's strong men in the government. Before now, Wiki has strong loyalists who has been feeding from his political structure as a former governor and FCT minister, numbering in their thousands in the state. These men were the tools Wiki used in fighting Fubara, but a twist of fate for the Hitler of Obiakbo began when some of his strong loyalists began speaking against Wiki and said that their loyalty is to the people of River State. It has become evident that Fubara is doing something to the political structure of Wiki in that state, although rumors have it that Wiki got that structure from the wife of former president, Gulag Jonathan, who fought for him to become governor and displaced Amichi, who was his predecessor, and didn't want Wiki to become governor. The wife of the president fought for Wiki to hold on to that structure, the PDP structure in the state. With what Fubara is doing, I don't think Wiki will last long in River State because this man has created so many enemies from himself, from the PDP. Most men in the APC might not want him in their party because of his antecedent and his personality. He has made enemies left, right, and center. He has made enemies in the north, in his state. APC don't want him to be in their party because of his personality. I don't know where Wiki will run to at this point in time if he loses his structure in River State, which seems that it is becoming so. Most of Wiki's henchmen are turning their backs against him. It is all about the money. Maybe Wiki is not that buoyant to finance his political structure. When he was governor, I think he uh, would have done so because he might have access to the state's treasury. I know River State is a, is a rich state and the allocations uh, is, is on the high side. The governor controls the, the revenue, the finances of that state. Probably if he, when he was the governor, he could finance the political structure. But I don't know, as an FCT minister, can he uh, pull the finances that Fubara is pulling? It is no news that, or it's not surprising that weakest men would turn their backs against him because politics in Nigeria is all about the money, interest, personal and selfish interest. Any politician who is not in a juicy position, such as being a governor, uh, might not uh, be able to easily uh, fund his political structure. One thing about political structure is that if I am a politician and I have people that support me, I must have a way whereby I can get these people some freebies, some connections, some contracts, uh, so that they can uh, keep on supporting me. So I think that's the situation with Wiki. Fubara has taken a step. He is wooing most of Wiki's loyalists, strong men, and money is powerful. Uh, many people can sell their destinies. Many people can turn their backs on you because of just money. Just like the average Nigerian voter who knows that if he votes for a candidate, 
uh, it is uh, possible that Nigeria will get better, but because of money, they will decide to sell their votes uh, for destruction of themselves and the country. So it's similar to this. Money is supreme here. Fubara has access to the state treasury. He's a commander in chief in River State. He's the executive governor. He is the Alpha and Omega in River State, at least for today. I think the moves he's making is going to destroy Wiki's political career. Another thing of concern is the protests going on against Wiki in Abuja. It is being said that within five months of Wiki becoming FCT minister, he made many enemies, especially from the north with reference to the demolition of infrastructure and the policies he introduced recently. The CEO of O and paying huge amount of monies to renew this, renew that, has made him created a monster that will fight him in the years to come. Ohanis Ndibo revealed that a governor and presidential candidate are sponsoring protests against the minister of FCT, that is Nyeson Wike. Ohanis said the protests are aimed at distracting Wike and President Bola Tinubu from performing their duties. Thousands of FCT indigents had stormed the National Assembly calling for Wike's resignation over alleged racketeering. Yes, yeah, speaking for the indigenous uh, uh, when Adamu Kabiru Matazu urged the National Assembly to probe Wiki's policies on land allocations. Reacting, Ohanese's factional secretary general Okechiku Isi Guzoro said the governor and the presidential candidate were sponsoring the protest to score cheap political goals. So, if you ask me who that governor is or who the presidential candidate is, it might not be too far from these guys are PDP guys. I might want to suggest Fubara would be that governor and the presidential candidate would be Atiku Aubakar sponsoring protest against Wiki in the FCT. In a statement signed by Isiguzoro, he charged the opposition political parties to allow Wiki to focus on his duties and not politicking. Wiki is in trouble home and abroad. He is in trouble in FCT and also bigger trouble at home. If he loses his political structure in River State, his demise will be worse than some politicians that went extinct. Don't forget the River State House of Assembly is in crisis. 27 lawmakers loyal to the Speaker Martin Amihuli sat under a tight security in the complex. The River Assembly had become factionalized following an unsuccessful move to impeach Governor Siminalai Fubara. The Amiwule led lawmakers are believed to be loyal to Fubara's predecessor and political godfather, that is Inyeson Wike. It was learned that ahead of Wednesday's sitting, cleaners had on Tuesday been deployed to clean up the assembly complex, which had been under locks since October 29th, following an explosion in the complex the night before. One of the cleaners said that they were instructed to tidy up the complex ahead of a sitting on Wednesday. It was gathered that the Wednesday sitting was held for about two hours as a team of riot policemen and security vans were stationed in front of the house to prevent any breaches. It was gathered that the lawmakers elected a former chief whip as the new majority leader of the assembly. The other faction of the assembly led by the house leader Edison Ehie and loyal to Fubara had yet to react to the Wednesday development as of the time of the report. Reporters say that the Ehie faction had obtained a court order that parties should remain and maintain the status quo pending the termination of a suit seeking to sack Amehule as the House Speaker. You see, the crisis is becoming tense. A faction against the other faction. Let's see what happens in the future.